everyone. Finally, uh, we are here uh, announcing our plugin reference manager uh, announcement that uh, so you uh, can check it out in our store. And here is a little tutorial video about how to install, how to use, and some tips from uh, me to guide you uh, in the future uh, if, if this tool may, may be helpful, useful for you. So here is our first step to install. I will also leave a text document which will be uh, like uh, this one. Uh, there is simple steps that you have to do to just uh, make uh, this happen. Uh, the first step is uh, just go by this link and download the ZXP installer uh, from uh, their official website. Uh, it's free and uh, no uh, secrets, no, nothing uh, special in here. The uh, second step you have to do, you just have to open that uh, software, it will look like this, and uh, go to the folder which will be older cell files. You just have to find the ZXP one with uh, the name, uh, with this name, and just simply drag and drop inside this Adobe XP, ZXP installer. Uh, make sure that in this moment your all Adobe, Adobe applications are closed and uh, you reset all that stuff so to make sure that this software will install properly with no issues. So this is first step to, to just um, install the plugin. Uh, the second step is how to find it in uh, Adobe Photoshop or After Effects. As you know, in uh, by the description, this plugin is working uh, for both After Effects and uh, Adobe Photoshop as well. So uh, you will go to your window extensions and we will find the name of the plugin inside of extension legacy and then it will open for you this kind of uh, panel which will be the main stage main stuff that uh, it's how it, that is how it looks like and all stuff will work inside this small window here you can see my main gmail and my current plan if i have pro plan i can uh, uh, upload the assets that is provided with this uh, plugin uh, it's only available in my store i will leave uh, m double m file format uh, zip files which will be the file format for this plugin so when you're buying my reference packs from my store you will be able to uh, get them and upload it inside this plugin with no issues and use it uh, for free if you have this plugin uh, in future, in a couple of days, all my reference packs will be uh, will include that double M file format, which will be uh, special files files to be included in my, my plugin. So the second part is that uh, if you're not using my reference packs, but you also want to use the plugin itself and you uh, upload inside your custom images, you have to make sure that you bought uh, correct license. It have to be extended commercial license to use it. Uh, in custom way, and in that case, you will be able to uh, you will be able to uh, log in as the administrator as well and upload your own custom images inside that plugin. So now, how it works? So now, let's uh, see how it works and what it can do and uh, how you can use it. Maybe you can uh, find uh, your way of usefulness of this package. For me, it has several uh, interesting things that it can do for me and to make my workflow easier. So as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to uh, get this uh, double M file format, uh, zip file format files from my uh, packages, from my reference packs, uh, which will be the main um, files that you are able to import in inside of uh, extension, inside of plugin. Uh, you can just drag and drop or install whatever you want. You can if you uh, have a regular pro account, you can use only the stuff from my store with, which have this package file formats. Or you can test it out, the file, uh, this file, which I will include inside uh, under this uh, video to just test it out, check how it works and understand if it's uh, what you need or, or not. For me, it's pretty useful and I'm using it every day in my workflow and I just thought that this might be uh, interesting for you as well. So these packages, uh, you are just going to uh, login at first so uh, important part also you can check your status of current plan here after logging in you just simply uh, have to wait a bit uh, about an hour for the, your account confirmation please do not uh, be patient do not uh, be anger uh, the server part is uh, the hardest part uh, i just uh, 
so it might be some issues with server and your confirmation your uh, registration of confirmation can mm, be a little longer than usual it might be about an hour or two to get uh, co confirmation of your valid email that you're uh, registered so after that you will have your current plan to become pro and you can use asset that uh, comes with this package uh, and test it out if you want to download your custom assets make it double m file format and use it as you wish you have to just uh, buy pro plus uh, license to get administration uh, to get the code of admin uh, login uh, instead of just registration uh, registration simply registration so now i have my pro account and i can import assets from my for testing As you can see, I just hit the import extra asset and here we go. So now we have all our images inside the plugin and we can use them as we want. We can have fast, easy access, easy nav navigation. We have K-tracking here. So if I want, if you have your reference packs or you have your uh, like image galleries where you want to like matte painting or just studying references or whatever you're doing and you have a uh, correct naming of your images, you can simply just K-track them. It's work working perfectly. And now if I, for example, have my right, code of my image I want to use, I can k-track it, search in search bar, or and add uh, my custom keyword if you don't want to, like for example, change the name of your images every time or go into the folder and change it uh, every time, you just can add your custom keyword here and uh, next time you want to upload or find it, it will be available, available by this keyword. For example, I will name it test number one and hit the save as you can see the name is, didn't change but after and the second uh, but after my uh, next time when i'm running my plugin or after resetting it will find the right file that you uh, k named before so it's very useful for me uh, I simply using it uh, for several reasons. Um, I can K track them. As you can see, the first time you just save it, it might not work. You just have to close it and reopen. I hope if, uh, in next release of the plugin we will fix it, fix this, fix this stuff. But uh, for now, it will work like this. As you can see, I added my keyword, and now I can find it both by my search name. When I'm deleting all the stuff, I can see all package with no errors, with no issues. So this is the second part. So how registration is works. So you just need to enter a valid email address, for example, like here, enter password, and repeat your password. If you already have an account and you want to switch from regular Pro to Pro Plus, you uh, and you bought the license, the correct license for Pro Plus, you will get uh, you'll get uh, the code, uh, the admin, admin password, which will allow you to log in as administrator and now uh, to upload your custom assets inside the plugin. But uh, now let's test out the regular Pro and use the assets, the file which I include with this plugin to test. So now let's see how to registrate your account after you find the extension, after you installed it. You will find it like this way, it's very rough with uh, almost no assets and it will be empty for you. And uh, you just need to create account to start using it. For in my case, I will add my email then I will create password and sign up. It will show you your successful registration. Please log in to access your account. Now you have to log in again with the right password and email address that you mentioned in creating. 
So now when you log in, you will see that if everything is successful, your current plan is basic and you, in your case, oh, wait a minute, in your case, you will be, you will see uh, something like this. So currently when you're registered, you will see that your current plan is basic. So it means that your submission is under uh, is under checking. So you just have to wait a bit uh, uh, to let the server confirm your email address uh, valid validness. And after the restarting, you will see that your uh, plan will change to pro. Here we go. So now when you get, uh, you got the confirmation and you have your current plan as a pro, you can start test it and uh, to do it, you have to just very uh, and find the MWM file format, which will be available with this plugin to test it. So, hit the import external asset, find a zip file with double M file format, file name, and hit OK. Now you will see that your zip file extruded, expanded inside a plugin with correct names, with all the namings, and uh, with a right uh, hierarchy. So one more thing, also I forgot to mention, uh, when you upload one pack or second, third packs, but you want to delete one inside of the uh, plugin, uh, it, this function is not available yet, but you can easily just do it, uh, you can do it easily by going uh, with this path on your computer. Uh, you can just copy it from this text document or go to your docu documents folder, find assets extension, and then you can just delete these folders here. It, yes, you can see it's the same folder where the plugin write, read all the information from. So if you want to refresh your cache uh, storage, you can delete or restart this log file here. It will uh, empty your cache files if it's a lot of data, data here. It can refresh your plugin and it will work more fresh, it will work more faster. Uh, you can do it uh, like about two times a week, uh, maybe uh, depending how often you're using plugin. Uh, as, I, as, I mentioned, uh, as I mentioned it earlier, all this function will be more easy in future uh, packages. If all this stuff will be uh, added inside of extension. You will be able to delete folders, add new ones more easier. This is just a beta version, some kind of um, uh, Kickstarter stuff I'm trying to do to raise some funds to uh, be able to work on this uh, soft uh, in future. So that's why I'm running it, running it in these conditions, in beta version. But uh, it, that means that I, it will not be updated uh, after some time. I will automate a lot of features uh, and you will not be able to uh, do it manually. For example, like this, when you want to delete folders, you have to go to some path, find them and delete them. You just need to delete them and after refreshing <coughs> the inside the plugin, you will see that it's empty. So I hope it's uh, clear. If you have some questions, feel free to DM me on our station or, or send me email. We're working uh, almost 24 hours a day and our support service will help you with your issues. If you didn't get uh, confirmation to probe or other minor issues with uh, uploading or installing plugin, if you have license, if you have bought it from our store, we will be happy to help you to find uh, an issue and make it work because we tested out about a month we made it uh, for we made it uh, to work with uh, both mac and pc versions with no issues so uh, it might be so it will it have to work properly without any issues for now in this functionality and we kind of sure that we can remove every issues that you will get if they will be if they be so that's it that's the whole idea of this plugin of uh, all the idea of how it made and what it can do and how it can be useful for you. The final part, uh, let's see uh, yeah, the plugin in action again after all these actions you do, you did for 
uh, set up set up in your account and uh, your plan inside of your inside of plugin. And now, a uh, simple workflow I recommend I do it myself or I recommend for you to get some assets that you are using uh, very often and make them well, let them keywords for example BMW. Make some descriptions if you have one. And if you find it useful for you, you will use it for special purposes. I'm just hitting this small button here and as you can see, I will get my image full high rest in smart object as a smart object inside your current artboard or your current uh, canvas and starting to use them. It may be the, your library of reference images like here. It can be also uh, the stuff, the textures you are using to matte paint or just the resource images to photo bashing or photo manipulating textures. Many, many things that you want to have right by your hand right inside of your Photoshop to do not go and find and research it inside all the, these folders in our uh, PC and searching them easily inside Photoshop, everything can be done. In the future, we're planning to add several stuff. For example, first will be cloud storage, um, all the assets that Pro Plus uh, Plan users will use will upload, will go right inside cloud, and your assets will be uh, uh, will be uh, uploading inside it, and you will not be or, uh, you will not have to worry about your uh, storage inside of your computer. So the second stuff in future we are planning is more responsive user interface. Now what you can do is just uh, simple steps, just uh, scaling it up and maximum value will be like this. So, so UI fixes will be in our future updates, so stay tuned if you have already bought it from my store, from my website or from my RStation store or whatever you're uh, buying it, you will be able to get all the updates in future for free uh, until we get to some interesting point and planning to do to upgrade it to make it to set up it with a lot of features uh, the third uh, thing we are planning is to add different abilities about different 